Let's look at the table now. I got my x and my y's here, right? The formula, once again, is k equals y divided by x. k equals y divided by x. So all the ones that I've got showing you right here are all, these are all new problems. They're all separate. But if you scroll down on this page, it just has it duplicated. Okay, so here we go. We're going to do 2 divided by 1. What is 2 divided by 1? So what that means is that every time I do this, this should be increasing by 2. Which it is because if I go from 3, right here, somewhere over here, it would increase by 2, meaning it would still balance itself out. It just has a decimal in there. Can you tell me what the constant is for this table over here? Nope, this is all 7th grade material. Well, let me ask you this. How would I set that one up? Uh, 2 or 0.4 over 2. 0.4 over 2. What does that really want you to do? Divide, divide right? Divide Can you do 0.4 divided by 2? Do it. 0.4 divided by 2. 0.4 and then, uh, is it the or the? Top dog always goes in the house. How many times does 2 go into 0.4? What? 0.2. 0.2, do we agree? Yeah. Yeah. So that means that every time I increase, I'm going up by 0.2. No. Okay? Go this one. Formula is k equals y divided by x. Not 2 divided by 6. Look, it literally has y right here. 6 divided by 2. So k is going to equal 3. Josh, what's up? Yeah, that's a great point. It's a multiplicative relationship, so I'm, I'm off on that. Um, so let me rephrase this. The formula is k equals y divided by x, right? Mm -hmm. But the beginning, I had y equals k times x. So what that's really implying, Josh, is if we find our constant, so we said the constant's 0 0.2, right? Yeah. Well, if I do 2 times 0 0.2, I get 0.4. If I do 4 times 0.2, I get 0.8. If I do 7 times 0.2, I get 1.4. Okay. Let's drop down to this one. Do we agree that my constant is 3? Mm -hmm. 2 times 3 is what? 3, three times 3 is what? Nine. 5 times 3 is what? Three. Let's go back up to the table. Constant's 3. What is 3 times 3? Uh, what is 4.5 times 3? Do it, do it real quick. Do 4.5 times 13. 3. 13? Josh says 13? No, it's not 4.5 times 3. Wait, 4.5 4.5 times 3. I got it. What is it? 15.5? 15.5? Yeah. Right? Sounds a little too high. Yeah. Down. 13.5. So look, if I come up to my gra graph here. Don't we agree that that's going to be pretty close to 13.5? Yeah. Let's go over here. We have one fifth. So if I do 10 times one fifth, that's really 10 times 0.2. 10 times 0.2 is going to give me what? Eight? No, that's not right. No. 10 times 0.2. Could he give us two? So look, if I go to 10 up here, don't we agree that that's pretty close to two? You guys, is that connecting it back? That was a great question, Josh. That was a great question. Is that making it a little bit more clear? Okay, so All right, so let's do this one. Formula equals k equals y divided by x. Okay, so I'm going to do 10.5 divided by 1.5. Can you do that math for me, please, without using the calculator? Excuse me? That's fine. That's a great question, Reed. You can use any of these points on the table. They're all going to work out. I'm just picking the first one. Reed, what'd you get? Seven. Do we agree that k is equal to seven? Oh, I see what you did. Yeah, I guess it's two times seven. So let me ask you this. Two times seven is? Fourteen. Five times seven is? Thirty-five. Does that help a little bit better? Yeah. 
Yeah. Thank you, Josh, for asking that. I hadn't thought about putting it in those terms. Okay, what I want to do is I want to move on to the homework assignment real quick and go over it and make sure we, we understand what it's asking. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back to this. Yeah. Okay. okay, so for your homework tonight, there are some questions. How about this? We've got seven minutes left. Let's do the first two together. How do y'all feel about that? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You have to do all ten of them. Always read. Always, always, always. All right, so on your homework assignment that I'm going to put for you, I want you to write down these two equations to make sure that you understand exactly what you're doing. I want you to write down. K equals yx. I don't want you to write that y equals k. I'm sorry, k equals y divided by x. And y equals kx. So it says, what is the constant of proportionality in this graph? So what we're trying to do is we're trying to figure out what is it increasing by? Okay? So we know that k equals y divided by x. Can we all agree with that? Yeah. Do we agree that it's giving me two points right here? Yes. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the y value of this point. Well, first of all, what is this ordered pair? Does anybody remember how to do ordered pairs? Uh, three, one. Yeah, good. This is 3, 1. And then this one over here would be 6, 2. Okay. Now, to do this, I'm going to do... 3, I'm sorry, 1 divided by 3. So the y is always on top. Y is always on top because look, here's your y axis, here's your x axis. So if k is equal to 1 over 3, what's your answer going to be? 3. Well, no, I've already set it up. What's 1 divided by 3? Oh. 0. 0.66. 0. 0.66 repeating, but don't you already have 1 over 3 right there? Yeah. Now let me just prove to you that it works before we move on to the next one. What if I decided to do 6 over 2? Well, what is 6 over 2 going to give me? I'm sorry, not 6 over 2. 2 over 6. Doesn't that equal 1 third, which is the same thing as D? Yeah. All right, let's look at number 2 real quick. Yeah, Josh, you just made everybody's life easier. Thank you for that. All right, this one says, which situation has a constant of proportionality of 2? Which has a constant of proportionality of 2? Now, notice it doesn't give you a table or a graph here, but we want to know which one has a constant of proportionality of 2. And we talked about unit rate yesterday. When we talked about unit rate, what did I say always went on top? Money, right? Money always goes on top. So let me say this. Let's do k equals y over x. So we're going to do 10 over 5. What does 10 over 5 equal? 2. And what does 12 over 6 equal? Uh, two. You see where I'm getting the 10 and the 5 from? Yes. Okay, so A works out. What if I do 12 over 3? What does that equal? Four. Well, then it can't be G. What if I do 5 over 2? 2.5, so that doesn't work. And this has half a watermelon for $2. Well, if I do 2 divided by 0.5, that gives me 1, so it can't be that one either. So what does it have to be? Does that make sense to y'all? Yes. Josh, again, thank you for clarifying that. What about you guys over there? Kendall, feeling okay? Isaac, I know you're a little late coming to class. Jackson? So the first one was D, right? Yes, sir. Are we doing all of them? Yep, you're going to do all of them. Again, hey, I'm not here tomorrow morning, right? So this isn't technically due till Friday. And tomorrow you have a fractions paper. you got four minutes left in class. I bet you can get through at least two or three more of these, though. I'm going to talk to our online people and see if they got any questions for me.